I'm just on a train on my way to Canterbury to go to a protest organised by Kent Wildlife Trust. Uh, there's a woodland in Canterbury, one of the largest ancient woodlands in the south of England, is under threat from development of around about 2,000 houses in, in that area. So we're off to Canterbury. We call on the new Vice Chancellor and her team to show bold leadership and work with us to find a different and better use for this land. We will work with the residents, the council, the university, wildlife organisations and other stakeholders to find a solution and save the bleem for future generations. Thank you. Bravo. <laughs> Yeah, we're just coming halfway down Canterbury High Street now. So what are we, um, what are we campaigning against? Well, off the top, we know we need houses. We know the population is expanding. What we are eight billion now. We know that. But um, there's just development after development in the thousands. And what the Bleen's facing right now, you know, this is the largest uh, ancient woodland in the south of England, and they're facing. Um, a development of 2,000 houses um, on the Bleen, and it's basically going to fragmentise the landscape. Um, you know, all these woodlands need to be connected. Imagine if someone built a thousand houses in your hallway, you wouldn't get from your bedroom to your bathroom. And uh, this is what's happening, they're, they're breaking up the landscape with these developments. So um, that's, that's the large, large part of it, and it's a very wildlife rich place, as you imagine an ancient woodland would be. So um, loads of people have turned out to protest and march, and we're marching down Canterbury High Street right now. Biodiversity Network uh, from the University of Kent and he's one of the drummers on the march for the Save the Bleen March. So um, Will, can you tell me a bit about it? Yes, um, everyone here is rather alarmed at some rather outrageous plans to build 2,000 homes and all the uh, infrastructure, the road infrastructure and a community hub and all sorts of other enormous development. And at the moment, there are no plans beyond a policy within the draft of the local plan. Mm. Now, we're in the final draft of the public consultation, what's called Regulation 18. Right. And it's, in fact, this is the third time we've had it, which is quite good, because most local authorities don't go beyond one, or maybe, if you're lucky, two. Yeah, yeah. But we're in the third, and the reason we're in the third is because there was a new council following the... Um, the local elections last May in right. 2023. There we are. There's some support. There's so much support, isn't there? There's so Great. much support. Yeah. And um, and the new council created a, um, a, a a local plan working group, and they've done some great great job. I mean, they've done a great great job. You know, there's a bus led transport policy. Um, there's a reduction in the overall housing. There's an enhancement of biodiversity. There's there's decarbonisation of the district. There are very strict regulations on new housing. There's a 20% biodiversity net gain, which is 10% above the national average, or sort of the national guidelines. It's a very good local plan. Yeah. And there are lots of really good policies in there about um, protection of the uh, rural nature of the villages, of the countryside, of the environment. Lots of really good things. But then right in the middle of that uh, is this one policy, C12, which is for the land up here. And in fact, also the policy for Brooklyn's farm. 
Well, in Whitstable, I didn't mention that earlier, and I should have done. That's 1,400 homes, which is, wow. again, it's huge. And it's yeah. also bordering the northern region of the Bleen as well. So it's equally, um, you know, it's equally damaging. But what we're all, you know, particularly galled about here is the fact that the the fact that the plans were not uh, were not given in right. the, the the land was not allocated in the previous um, draft of the local plan. Yeah, yeah. But consequently, because it wasn't two things about that. First of all, it means that um, there's lots of reasons as to why it wasn't allocated, and they're all spelt out in the council documents. Um, lots of reasons. Um, not least the one which we're given all the time, which is about access. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah. But also, I mean, the fact that the policy, one of the, the transport policy itself, says that this will be. This is the latest one. Um, says this will be a car. I can't remember what the exact terminology. I've got it written down. That it'll be a car dependent community. No, exactly. It actually that's, says it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not us. Yeah, that's it. You know, this is the point. The point being is this is what I the point I raised earlier is that all the reasons why this is about it's not linked no, up to transport so they're not going to be all. yeah depending on their cars yeah exactly. so more, and more yes, hard standing and yes there more are, cars on the road exactly and yes there yeah. are good plans in the local plan for enhancing um, uh, local transport and sustainable travel and uh, you know it promoting walking and cycling which is all great but we know full well that this is this is a wrong distance from, ever, from yeah, anywhere. Absolutely. We have seen all the details, and the details all say it's a bad plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So therefore, the only thing that we've got to go on is promises. Yeah. But that's, the promises are not spelt out. They are, oh, it'll be mitigated. Now, you, as a great, great biodiversity uh, wild man, you know about some of the implications of, for example, ground nesting skylarks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can't go in there and tell the skylarks, please, can you go yeah. somewhere else? Yeah, that's it. If Mitigation you... is often done somewhere else as well. Exactly. Sometimes it could be anywhere in the country. If you relocate skylarks, that's the end of skylarks. Yes, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't pick up their nests and put them somewhere else. No, exactly. Um, yeah. The same is true with Nightingale. This yeah. is Kent, as we know, East Kent. Yeah, that's of, it. The one of the last. Yeah, one of the last strongholds for Nightingale. It really yeah. is, and we're at the northern limit of their migratory route. Yeah. So they come here to nest, and we know obviously the old park in Checkers Wood is a great, um, you know, is a great habitat for nesting uh, Nightingale. Yeah. So, so what can um, what can people do? Uh, can, do they head to the website and? Uh... Okay, so just uh, do a an internet search, Canterbury City Council local plan. Up it'll come, yep. and then you follow the links to the questionnaire. Right. Now, okay. Just to finish one off, not everyone here will be responding exclusively to policy tw C12. Yep. Other people will be respond will be focusing on other issues in the area. You know, in the area, for example, of, of Brooklyn Farm um, in Whitstable and other pockets which are, you know, going to be affected by yeah. new housing. Okay. Um, so basically, there's no obligation to fill in every part of the questionnaire, okay. but we have to do it before the 3rd of June. That's great. And I just, sorry, I keep saying there's one last thing, but the <laughs> one last thing is, it, it, it is effective. So, the last two consultations of the local plan, the, 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 the responses that people gave have played a part in the new draft. Okay. You know, the loss of the bypass, we've no longer got those bypasses yeah, yeah. that uh, would have cut right see. through yeah, yeah. the old park and check as well. Why have we not got them? Because people objected. Yeah. So it is important. Okay, hey, right. Brilliant. Well done. That's really right. good work. It's been really good fun joining this march today. It's felt like a carnival. It's been a peaceful, enjoyable protest and lots of people have come together. Other people that are fighting similar battles and I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's been great, isn't it? And good work on the drum. Thank Cheers. You. Stay wild, guys. <laughs> <laughs>